Hey guys, John here, and we are back with more of the Sci-Fi Empyrean Galactic Survival What Does Sci-Fi Sound Like in Space Week. <laughs> I guess that's a mouthful. But anyway, so I was thinking, I'm like, okay, if I'm in space and there's like dark matter and I'm warping to different galaxies, I don't know, right? What does dark matter sound like if you're maybe getting sucked into it or something like that? And I kind of think it sounds maybe something like this. That's kind of wild, maybe an octave lower. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Zebra is freaking crazy. Anyway, let's get, let's get into this one. Uh, yeah, so we have a default one here. Let's go ahead and actually select our, our patch to remake with our fun and uninspiring saw wave. Okay, first things first, let's go to quad for this guy. And the point here, if we detune this by this much, 34. You're like, wow, that's really detuned. And funny enough, I think I started this patch. Uh, oh, what was it called? God dang it. Um, I can't remember the name of those patches at the moment. Oh, good Lord. It'll, it'll come to me, guys. It'll come to me. Okay, so offset effects, none here. The mixer, we're going to be going with 100% here. Respace, good Lord. How do, how do I forget that? Oh, my God. Okay, so the point is to detune the crap out of this thing, spread it out pretty far, and then we're going to mangle the crap out of it. So that, that's kind of the game plan here. So we have this guy, which is pretty simple, right? Nothing too crazy. Next, we're gonna add a, another oscillator, so oscillator two, and what is this bad boy gonna be doing? So we're gonna be going dual for this guy, so we can scroll up once on our mouse, and we're gonna drop this down by an octave. Make it even more gross, and we're gonna detune this by negative 16. <laughs> yeah, I was totally going for a respace. Okay, and then I was like, you know what? Dark matter, and you kind of just follow that timeline. That happens a lot in, in making patches, right? You're like, I'm going to try to make this, and then something kind of steers you in the other direction. You just got to follow that because nine times out of ten, you're going to make a way cooler patch that way. So with our offset effects, none, and then our mixer, same thing. Let's spread this like there's no tomorrow. Okay, so next up we have noise. So select here noise, and this guy is going to be white noise on stereo. It almost sounds like I'm saying on steroids. But with this, jeez, this noise is wild. So let's bring this down here. It's kind of loud at 42. So 42, bring that bad boy to there. This almost like your tires leaking. <laughs> or it's funny, if you ever hear a, um, a monitor engineer or front of house is kind of pinking uh, any kind of speakers, you'd be like, oh, are you, are you letting the air out of those things? <laughs> They'll always get a kick out of that one. Okay, so we have the noise, that's fine. Uh, let's see, the width, we can, again, spread it here, but not all the way. We're going 89, we're gonna be a little gentle on this one here, 89. Something right about there, but if you're feeling brave, you know, go all the way. So next, you probably already guessed that we're going to a comb filter, and this patch is really only one column, so it's not too crazy like the other ones were. So comb one, and this guy is dissonant, which is Probably my favorite mode in this guy. That one and diff comb. Those are both really nice. Cluster, I guess that they're all cool. Jesus, man. It's hard to pick favorites. I guess we kind of geek out, right? You know, pick what's your favorite algorithm in the comb filter in Zebra HC? I'm like, well, let me tell you. Okay, so we need to add a little bit of input because we're not going to hear anything. So 100%. And they're dampening. We can leave that open. We're going to be a little crazy today. And then 98 feedback. I was probably going for 100, but maybe not. Oh, I was totally going for 100. Okay, so we have our feedback, and then let's adjust some of these settings down over here. So this one here, LFO2, so we're adjusting this tone here. We want to modulate that, right? So we can keep it on default here, but we're going to use LFO2. So click this here, LFO2, and the depth for this guy is negative 24, just like that. 
And then the flavor is going to be negative 70. So we're going to bring that to negative 70, something like that. And then LFO2 again at positive 26. So LFO2 again at positive 26. Now let's go ahead and actually adjust the LFO here. So this is going to be on 10 seconds. So bring this to 10 seconds. And then, yeah, that's all you got to do. Bring it to 10 seconds and Bob's your uncle. We have something kind of like that. Or very low. Usually it's kind of weird because like the low end kind of farts out right there, but it almost gets kind of like time is stretching a little bit. Like the resolution of the fabric of reality is kind of breaking down. I think I get two inch into patches and sound design, Jesus. Anyway, moving on from here, uh, what else do we need to do? We need to check our envelopes because this is just wrong. Okay, so something with this patch, right? So you can use it kind of impactfully. Right, you can do something like that. But I kind of liked a little bit of the attack almost all the way up to the right. So it kind of builds that tension a little bit, kind of makes it... Uh, like you're anticipating something happening. Our decay is 39, so bring that down to 39. Our sustain is pretty low at 22.5, 22.5, something like that. And then I remember kind of messing around with these curves, like where exactly do I like it for the slope, right? So I kind of ended up with negative 94 or something like that, but that's all to taste. And then for our release is gonna be 56.5, 56 point. Oh my goodness, five right there, there we go. All right, so we have that, and I believe that's all for the envelope. Okay, in our lane here, we're gonna be doing a little bit of panning, so LFO3, that's where this guy comes into play. So click here, LFO3 on the panning, and the depth is going to be 46, 46, there we go. And then if we look at the speed here, this is gonna be 10 seconds. It's gonna be 10 seconds. It's also gonna be random glide, cause you know, we want a random panning. It's gonna be random motion. We don't know exactly what time is gonna do. I don't know. So we have to make it random. And we're gonna bring the rate down just a little bit to 90. So something like that. All right. So it kind of hangs out a little bit on the left and then slowly kind of maybe moves to the right and then maybe less to the right. And you know, it's random, I don't know. It does what it wants to do. So that is good. Uh, what else do we need to do? We need to do, a, I think a compressor. Yes, we did a compressor here. So turn on comp this lane compression, and then I believe a lot of this is going to be default, the threshold negative 21, so bring that uh, down by 1, I suppose, which might not even really make a difference, and then bring this up by 31, which will make a difference. Good lord, did we bring them the master down? Yes, we did. 66. Okay, let's bring that down now. 66, something like that here. And go back to our compressor, and then what were we at here? 31. just nasty here. Output 12.5. Jesus Christ. I'm going to bring that down just a little bit more. Good Lord, it's angry. It's like it's pissed off at me. God. Okay, so moving on from here, we have next an EQ. We're going to skip the mod effects. So EQ, click this here, and I'm sure you know where I'm going with this. Cut some of the mud, and this is a gentle cut, actually, so we can kind of bring this down here and kind of just aim that there. And then for the top end, we kind of want to tame that down a little bit. And there's plenty of low end, so we really don't need to push this guy. And then we're going into some distortion to mangle this even more. So distortion three. And this guy is going to be class tube A. The input is, I think, negative one, something like that. We're kind of bringing that down. And then the low is going to be 0.04, so tiny little move there. And then the high is going to be 2.40. And then what else are we doing here? And then post tilt is going to be two. So it kind of just makes it a little bit more aggressive than it already is. And then next up, we go to this delay here. So let's go to our delay. Where are you here? Delay. And it's the right one. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. Okay, this one's going to be fun. Okay, so we have our delay. 
and we're going to go to W2 point or two plus two. I'm set 2.2 and we're going to go one fourth, one eighth, one fourth, one eighth, and then uh, one fourth, one fourth. Now the ratios are going to be a little bit different. This first one here is going to be hundred, which is default. And then we're going to go ratio two, one Oh six. So we're kind of just making the delays, not so exactly perfect. Negative 68 for this guy, negative 68 like that, or I guess positive 68, whatever. Uh, and then this ratio is going to be 142. 142, something like that. And then our panning is going to be fine. Left, right, left, right is cool. And then our mix, 27.5, 27 point five, 27 point five. There we go. Okay, boom. And this one, I, I have both the uh, feedback and the crossback as well, which I generally don't do that. But for this patch, it kind of worked out kind of nice. So I increased the feedback to 23, something like that. And I think this one is also a little bit higher. It's 28 for this guy, 28. And a tad bit like 92, I think it is, something like that. And then 26 for the high pass. 26. There's a lot of low end for this guy. 26, I guess, is fine. Okay. Cool. All right, so next up, we're going to go to the new verb. So let's go to new reverb one. And this guy is going to be increasing the size. So 122 right over here. And then we have decay 55. So increase that just a little bit more. And then our dry wets 37. Bring that guy up. Nothing too crazy. And the rest is going to be default. And lastly, we have this filter here, which is kind of like controlling everything, right? It's kind of nice to have a master filter at the end. And again, it's going to be the low pass four pole, single analog, which is cool. And a little bit of overload here at 10.5. Jesus. And then a little bit of modulation like we did before, LFO2. So select here, and then we're going to go LFO2. And then this modulation depth is going to be six. So it's a very subtle change. And that's kind of once we bring this down here, so the cutoff is still slightly moving. And to make things a little bit more interesting, so over here in our modulation matrix here, what we're doing is we're using the LFO2 phase. So this knob over here, we're modulating this knob by this LFO, which makes things a little bit more weird. So... Yeah, so let's go to our modulation matrix and drag and drop here to LFO2's phase so we can make that connection. And then here on none, we select LFO3 and give this a depth of about 54. So there we go, 54. And then I guess on our regular octave here. Now we have we have dark matter, so not too crazy on this one. This one's a little simplistic. Really, the kind of concept I guess to drill in your head for these kind of sounds, right, is making some really detuned oscillators and using noise and sending that through the comb filter, and then subtly modulating those weird parameters that you find inside the comb filter, which can be really, really cool effects, and then enhancing that with compression, distortion, delays, and reverbs, and EQing it so it doesn't sound all gross because <laughs> it will come out kind of gross sounding. And I guess that's the point, but we want to make it like a nice gross, right? Like we want some lips on that pig, right? If it's just a pig, it's just a pig, right? But if you put lipstick, at least you're trying. Yeah, but anyway, if you would like this patch and you don't want to follow along with all these knobs, that's totally cool. But like I say, I suggest you do follow along because it's a lot of fun and you learn a lot of stuff on the way. But if you don't, there's a link in the video description below and it can be yours. Just download it and uh, have fun. So yeah, that was uh, Dark Matter. So thank you so much for watching this uh, this Galactic Week, I suppose. Maybe, maybe should we call it Galactic? I don't know what we're going to call it. But anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something, and we'll see you in the next video.